Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to look younger easily using everyday makeup. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing. I do tutorials and reviews a lot and if that is something that you enjoy watching then go ahead and hit that subscribe button and with that being said let's get right into it. The first thing that I do is I apply a primer and I use the Avon Illuminating primer and it really does a great job at illuminating your face just put a little bit on there The next thing I do is I use a dewy foundation. I like it because it's thick and it doesn't lay in my lines on my face. And I use the Dewy Smooth by Maybelline. And this is the natural beige color. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I just put this all over my face. Because this is my second base. Primer is the first base. under the jawline and around your neck I just put a good cover on my skin that is the Maybelline Fit Me Dewy Smooth Foundation and you can see it's already blended in my skin color. Okay, the next thing we want to do after we put on our foundation is we want to put on our concealer. I will be using the Maybelline Cover Stick in the shade Ivory. Okay, the areas that you want to focus on whenever you use a light concealer. So you put it under your eyes in a triangular shape. Don't go past the outer corner of your eyes. Between your eyebrows up above. Down your nose a little bit on the tip of your nose. On your cupid's bow and your chin. And just blend that in. Remember, do not take it out past your eye. And you just want to blend all this in. You don't want to take it past the corner of your eyes or below your cheekbone. You want to leave it in this area right here. The next thing I do is I use the Maybelline Mineral Power and this is the Natural Perfecting Powder Foundation. And this just gives me a little bit extra coverage. I put it on my flat sponge and dab it around. And if you go in strokes, go in upward strokes. Okay, once that's done, next thing I use is the Master Contour by Maybelline. And you have the dark contour powder and your blush and your highlighting powder. And I just take a, a flat brush and I take the dark powder. And where you want to put this is up on each corner of your forehead. We want to leave this center area here light. Take it on down your hairline and in front of your ears. And your jawline, your chin line. That just adds definition. And then I take it just right above my jawline here. But do not bring any of that to the center of your face. The next thing I do is I use the light contouring powder and I put it in the same area that I put my concealer in. I'm going to be 40 years old in five months. So this is how I do my makeup now. And they say no shimmer past 40, but I love shimmer and I'm going to continue to wear shimmer. Okay, once you have your highlighting contour powder on in the same areas that you put your concealer, then you want to take your blush 
And your blush, you just want to go right here beside the nostril and out just a little bit. Not too close to the nostril. And then I just take this same brush and I blend it in. Do not take the blush above your cheekbones. Okay, the next thing I do is my eyebrows and I will fast forward a little bit through this eyebrow here because I have a scar and it takes me a little bit longer to cover it than this eyebrow. Now with your eyebrows, what you want to do is make them a little bit thicker than what they already are because when we were younger, we had nice thick eyebrows and as we've gotten older, they've thinned out. So the whole idea here is to get our younger look back. So you want to make your eyebrows a little thicker. What I do is I just take this eyebrow powder. You can tell I use it a lot and I use a Q-tip. And I'll go ahead and do this eyebrow here first. See how it's already thickening it up? Then I'll get this other eyebrow. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this eyebrow because it takes me a little bit longer, like I said. It takes me a little bit longer because of the scar there. And you can use an eyebrow pencil, you can use eyeshadow, you can use eyebrow powder, whatever it is that you use. The idea is just to make your eyebrows a little bit thicker, just like they was when we were younger. Okay, and the next thing that I do is I put on my eyeshadow. I'm going to be using these colors through here, the neutral colors. Neutral colors are best. For a younger look, it doesn't matter what color your eyes are. The neutral colors brings out whatever color your eye is. So what I'm going to do here is on the dome, all this, I'm going to be using this color here. That is a, a light tan. And it's shimmery. <laughs> Then for your crease, if you're anything like me and you have those hooded eyes, the skin above our eyes did not hang on our eyes like this when we were younger. So when we were younger, we actually put the eyeshadow, the darker eyeshadow, in through here. But now that we're older and we're getting those hooded eyes, what you want to do is instead of putting your crease color in your crease, you want to put your crease color on your eyebrow ridge right through in here where your bone is. Now I'm going to be using this little darker color here and just start working on my eyebrow ridge. Then what I do is I take this same color on down from the corner of my eyebrow to the corner of my eye and just fill in this area here. that just adds a little bit of definition and brings it all into the center of your face. Okay, after our eyeshadow, what we want to do is our eyeliner. And there is a different way to do your eyeliner when you are getting older. The same thing for the eyeshadow with our hooded eyes. Our eyes kind of set on our eyelids a little bit. Now that I've put it on my brow ridge bone, you can't really even tell that my eyes are hooded. And you want to use the blackest black that you can find because all we're going to do with our eyeliner is make our eyelashes look thicker. So you want to take your eyeliner and put it right in your eyelash line like that. You don't have to put eyeliner on the bottom and I would not recommend using eyeliner down past your eyelash line if you do put eyeliner on the bottom. I always just put a little bit of eyeliner on my waterline.
right above my lashes. And in the corner, just to make it look like I have fuller lashes than what I actually do. So I'm gonna make that corner, just take it to the corner and make it touch right there in the corner. Now I look like I have thicker eyelashes already and I haven't even put my mascara on yet. And that is the next thing that we do is our eyelashes. To brighten up your eyes, what you wanna do is use an eyelash curler. It just gives your eyelashes a lift up. And already you can tell a difference with just using an eyelash curler. And use a blackest black you can find mascara. We want thick eyelashes. I put just a little bit on top. And what I do for the bottom is I just take my mascara wand and I just gently roll it and move it through my eyelashes. And I always put two layers of mascara on the bottom part of my lashes. because I want these babies to look thick. <laughs> and on the bottom lashes, I just go on the top part and do the same thing, wiggle and roll, wiggle and roll. Then give it the finishing touch. And same thing for the other side. My eyelashes have gotten really thin over the years, so I like a lot of mascara on my eyelashes. Okay, the last thing is our lips. And what I do is I just take a light brown lip liner and some chapstick or some lip gloss. This is Kiss by Avon, and it's a shimmery lip balm is what it is. It's light pink. This is Maybelline expert wear it's actually for your eyes or in your eyebrow and you can see the color it's just a brown light brown you want to go on your natural lip line do not go on the outer part of your lips and then with this light pink or you can use a mauve lipstick or no lipstick at all or no lip liner at all But it is nice to have some color on your lips. And that's it. That is the younger looking makeup. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you next time.